next topic completing the square so usually they will ask you to identify certain unknown okay from a existing equation that was given so there's actually two ways to identify it okay the first one is not the recommended one but you can use it to double check your answer whether it is correct or not okay so the things that I did for the method one was to expand the x plus a square okay rearrange everything then compare the things that you've gotten with the equation so I purposely highlight it with yellow green and blue okay so that you know which one is corresponding to which so 2ax equals to negative 5x a would actually be negative 5 over 2 whereby for you to identify b's value simply square the negative 5 over 2 plus b equals to 3 b's results will actually be negative 13 over 4 whereby for method 2 Okay, this is the correct one that you should follow. Okay, first thing first, you need to only focus on the x square minus 5x that was given to you. Okay, so you know that when you expand the x plus a, okay, the negative 5x is actually corresponding to the 2xa over there. So immediately you identify your a as negative 5 over 2 when you put it in a square will result in 25 over 4 okay so since that you know that you will add it in already for the b there which is the constant you are required to minus off what you have added in so b is actually 3 which is the uh, integer that was left over earlier minus the a square that we added in okay so your b's results will be negative 13 over 4 so using this completing the square concept you can actually identify the turning point okay so focus on the bracket that we have there x minus 5 over 2 equals to 0 x equals to 5 over 2 okay this one will be your x coordinates for the turning point for you to find y simply substitute the 5 over 2 into the x position okay then you will get your results as y equals to negative 13 over 4 so your turning point will be 5 over 2 minus 13 over 4 but for the next one, this is when there is an additional variables that you need to identify or there is a constant okay, in front of your unknown, okay, which is the 8 over at the front of x squared. Method 1 is also business as usual. Simply expand the unknown that you have, compare a x square to 8 x square you get a equals to 8 okay so our 2 a b x equals to negative 18 x it becomes 18 b x equals to negative 18 x b is actually negative 9 over 8 whereby for c it will now be a b square plus c equals to 4 run the calculation you will get your c as negative 49 over 8 so it is slightly tricky for you to run method 2 on this. However, as usual, do the first thing first, which is extract the 8 from the entire equation. Okay, so you have 8 bracket x square minus 9 over 4x plus 1 over 2. So your a is actually 8. Whereby for the next one, you will know that 2xb equals 2 your negative 9 over 4 x so you run the calculation you will get your b as negative 9 over 8 so for your c okay things to take note is you're required to multiply your 8 back into it because your c over there at the unknown there's no a c over there 
Okay, so 8 bracket 1 over 2 minus b squared. Okay, you run the calculation, then you get your c as negative 49 over 8. So the same thing, okay, focuses on the bracket that you have there to find the x coordinate for the turning point. Your x would actually be 9 over 8. So when your x is 9 over 8, after the substitution, you will get your y as negative 49 over 8. So your turning point will be 9 over 8, negative 49 over 8. So that will be it for this particular topic. So you can run through some question and practice this to get a better understanding.